Now, how to identify our emotional needs then? Now, these are the differences. These are the emotional and the psychological and the natural differences that Allah Subhanahu has created men and women. How do we identify our emotional needs then? Now, the first thing is, and I'm going to talk about this as we move along. The relationship between husband and wife should be that of mutual friendship, not a master and a slave relationship. Yes, a man is a leader in managing their domestic affairs, but in social conduct, they are mutual friends. Who said this? Hakim Ulama Sheikh Ashulitan is a very, very important uh, a principle that he's telling us about marriage. You see, you know that discussion that I mentioned about men tend to be more authoritative and women tend to have high expectation, which tilts the balance. Mala Shaitan is telling us a very important principle rule here that the husband wife relationship keep it as mutual friendship. A man is a leader. In terms of managing the affairs, he has the final say. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given man the leadership in terms of managing marital affairs. And men are maintainers, they protected their leaders over women. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, but that's only in the case of managing the affairs, final decisions. But when it comes to your social relationship, it should be that of mutual friendship, not a master and a slave relationship. Just because a man is a leader, it does not mean that you treat your wife as a slave. Okay, and just because, and the sisters, just because your man, uh, your husband is a leader, it doesn't mean that you keep on objecting against him and trying to wear the pants. It doesn't work like that. Okay, we're going to talk about this later on about you know how do you build harmonious relationship. But as a default position is for husband and wife, you are mutual friendship. Have a relationship of human of a mutual friendship. Just as you know, you have so much concern and care for your best friend. Likewise, in similar case, you need to have the same kind of relationship with your with your spouse. So, yes, a man is a leader managing domestic affairs, but in social conduct, they are mutual friends. This is by Hakim al Ummah, Sheikh Hashri Thani, Rahimahullah. Now, sorry, yeah, emotional needs refer to the internal feelings innately embedded in all human beings, such as love, caring, appreciation, compassion, validation, happiness, and love. I'm surprised many of you did not point this out. This is what emotional need is is these innate qualities, innate feelings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has embedded in every single person, from just as loving, compassion, care, appreciation, attention, happiness, sad, all these things, these are part of emotional needs. Every single one of us want this, don't we? We all want to be loved. We all want to be cared for. We all want appreciation. We all want to be validated and accepted. We all want happiness in our relationship. Yes, these are what we call recognizing our emotional needs. A man needs to know that, look, the wife, she deserves happiness. You have to give her the happiness. A man wants validation. He wants that respect. The wife needs to ensure that she gives that to him. The moment that you don't give each other what they deserve, then that's where the marriage relation now starts to cripple. And unfortunately, this is where you start opening kind of worms of blaming each other. This is where first thing is, the first foremost is, I'm going to talk about this, that you need to first recognize other person's emotional needs. When you're willing to give the other, your spouse the emotional need that they deserve, then it will reciprocate. And this is where the next slide comes in, reciprocal relationship. Marriage relationship is all about reciprocating. Don't expecting the other to change. Or oh, my husband needs to do this. Men are like this. Or man has to learn about this. Men have to learn about my husband, wife. Uh, he needs to know about the wife's wife's right. It's not the case about men or women are like this or women like that. Women need to know about this. Women need to know about that. No, it's reciprocal. You have to be willing to give something to receive something. What are they? Caring versus trust. If one shows caring, you will win trust. Yes? Or it can work with you the other way around. Trust, when you trust somebody, right, that shows to a person that you care for them. Likewise, vice versa. That if you show caring, if a if a woman was to show if a woman was to care for her husband, the husband will trust his wife. If the wife um, and likewise vice versa, uh, and if the husband if he cares for his wife, then the wife will trust the husband. And the other way around, understanding and acceptance. When you begin to exhibit understanding, understand each other, then it will give the other person acceptance. If the wife is able to understand the husband's feelings, then she will accept him. Likewise, vice versa. So what causes cheating in a marriage? There's a case study on that anyway. We could do a case study on that. But I'll just mention it though. What causes cheating? There are various different reasons. There could be many reasons. One of them is, one of the reasons is that you're not getting what you deserve. Toxic in the marriage relationship, 
or sharing those things we're not supposed to be sharing. Uh, the wife doesn't get the attention that she deserves. There could be, it's multifaceted, but we'll talk about that inshallah, okay? Attention versus approval, uh, versus approval, sorry. Attention equals approval. So once a person gets the attention, right, then the, the other person gets the approval. So if, for example, let's say women tend, women like that attention, they want that attention from their husband, and it's a good thing. So the moment that when the man gives his wife the attention that she deserves, then she approves of him. This is the answer to the question. The moment that when the husband in the wife's heart, when she knows that my husband gives me the attention that I deserve, then she approves that he's the best man that I have. There's no chance for her cheating then. Likewise, vice versa. Reassurance and encouragement. When you reassure somebody, it gives encouragement. It results in encouragement. When you give somebody reassurance, it gives the other person encouragement. Mm-hmm.